All right, hey guys. So last night I did a Q&A video where you guys asked me a bunch of questions. This is going to be a part two where I answer all of your questions. So I think over 70 people asked me questions. There was a lot of duplicates though, so hopefully this doesn't take me too long. I'm gonna be going through each one individually, but I'm gonna try to keep the answer very short. So if you guys want a extended response, just leave another comment below and I'll write you a longer message. So the first question was, what is your favorite color? I've always liked blue. I like neon blue, neon red. I like very vibrant colors. What is your favorite sport? Um, I've never been into sports. I've never really cared for them. Um, I would say if you count UFC as a sport, I've really enjoyed UFC over the past like five years. Um, I was a big fan of WWF and WWE growing up as a kid, but like once you find out it's fake and once they started making it a little bit more kid friendly, I really didn't care for it. But I really love like the realness behind MMA and there's a lot of like art to it and I think it's really cool. Uh, what's up with your hair? So a lot of people have asked like asked me a lot of questions about my hair So you guys probably haven't seen like the full length of my hair My hair goes down to like my I guess upper stomach. It is extremely long There's a lot of reasons behind why I have long hair um, I guess the main reason is because I as growing up as a kid. I always had like um, social anxiety. I still do um, low self-esteem, etc, etc. Um, so like in middle school or high school, I started growing out my hair and it really helped me deal with like my social anxiety issues. I don't really fit well in groups um, and I always feel like people are like staring at me, especially in school. So growing out my hair like helped create these like barriers where I didn't feel like people were staring at me. I felt like they were just staring at my hair. So it made me feel a little bit more comfortable around like social environments. And there's a couple more reasons why. Um, I guess another reason is uh, about like, I guess middle school to high school, um, I got into power metal. I thought power metal was really cool back then. Uh, Dragon Force started becoming popular before Guitar Hero 3. And uh, through the fire and flames, the original music video, there's a lead singer called ZP Thart. His hair went down to his waist. And everyone in the band, like everyone who sings power metal has super long hair. And I always thought they just looked really cool. So. Um, I guess that was sort of a influencing factor, but for the main part, I just don't like social environments and um, growing out my hair kind of helped me deal with it. I also don't like getting my hair cut just because like I've always been a gamer throughout my entire life and it's really hard to go get your hair cut and I thought it was really stupid having to spend like $10 to get your hair cut and then having to spend like half an hour with a complete stranger who asks you all sorts of random questions that you just really don't want to talk about and uh, yeah I don't know it's just really hard to communicate with people who are not into video games and just going to social places like that just really makes me feel uncomfortable and just waste the time so yeah I haven't had my hair cut in about probably eight years maybe a little longer maybe a little shorter um, but, uh, yeah, I don't really do anything with it. I just keep it long. And another reason I need to mention this, another reason, um, I've never liked the way I look. I still don't really care for my appearance too much. I think a lot of people probably think I'm ugly. Uh, I don't know, but, uh, um, my hair is actually super freaking curly. You guys can't see that just because it's super long and having long hair kind of straightens it out like naturally, but as it's short, it's super curly and it's super like, um, shaggy. That's what I would describe it as. And I always thought it looked absolutely terrible no matter what I did with it. So, um, another re that's another reason I just don't like the way my hair looks short. It never looked good. I always thought it looked so terrible, but with long hair, I think it makes me look a little bit more unique and I think I stand out a little bit and I think, um, like nowadays, I think people are starting to accept long hair on guys. And uh, I think it adds a little bit, um, especially like there's a couple girls out there who like long hair and um, I think they're super nice and kind. So yeah, it kind of attracts certain types of people, you know. So just moving forward from that, that was a really long answer, but I needed to sort of like elaborate on that one. Uh, do you like banana? Um, if you're talking about the fruit, no, I don't like bananas. Uh, why do you want to be a YouTube gamer? Um, so it started out, I, okay, so this is the main reason. I've always collected games on Steam and, um, on other consoles as well. I've always been, like, a collector of games. Um, I always got annoyed that people like, you know, like Total Biscuit, big gamers, they always get all the AAA games, all the video games, they get them sent to them for free, and all they really do is they play them for, like, 20 minutes and they just talk about them. And I'm just like, 
I can do that. So I started getting into making videos and I started getting free indie games. And that's the main reason why I started doing YouTube videos, not for the money, but just to get free games on Steam. So that's the main reason why I'm making YouTube videos today. It's just because I enjoy um, playing games and it motivates me to like making videos motivates me to play more games and I get games sent to me for free from publishers to play. And I always love just playing new experiences, indie games, and just promoting various stuff <laughs> uh going forward can you shout out my steam profile no um what are your goals for the future i think my main goal currently is to get 10,000 subscribers uh, maybe i can get it within the year but it might take me a little bit longer than that i think that would be a really cool milestone um besides that i really don't have too many goals i just like to collect as many games on steam as possible and play as many uh, i think some of my main goals is to get through my huge backlog of games and game series that I've never played before. Uh, I really want to try to get through as many games as possible. It probably won't happen, but uh, I look forward to playing a ton of games, pretty much. Uh, do you have a girlfriend? No. Um, I've actually never really dated too much, like, throughout my entire life. I've been asked that a few times, but... Uh, I sort of turn them down just because, I mean, honestly, I have a lot of social anxiety and I really don't feel like I can have a girlfriend at this point. Um, and I guess someone else asked me later on, like, what's your age? I'm in my early 20s. And a lot of girls at my age are looking for someone who has a steady income, um, who's making money, who can support a family, who's moved out of their parents' house and so forth. I'm none of those things. I just like playing video games a lot and that consumes a lot of my time. I really just don't have time for girls at the moment. Uh, but yeah, I've had like a few like dates, I guess, and interactions and um, I've met some cool people um, throughout the last few years. So uh, I don't have a girlfriend currently, but that might change at some point. Does your computer get slow by having all of those video games on your computer? No, it doesn't. Um, and so a lot of people ask me, like, this is not related to this, but a lot of people ask me, like, how do you keep, like, how do you have all your games installed on your computer? I don't install all the games. Like, I think that's retarded, <laughs> okay? I just install the games that I'm currently playing. I have a pretty high download speed, so um, that's not really a problem. Are you living in your own house? No, I live with my parents. When did you start playing video games? Um... That's a hard one to answer before, before I can remember. That's my response. Probably three, three years old, maybe four. Um, uh, back then, like back from what I remember, like my parents gave me a Super Nintendo when I was super young, and then I think at my babysitter's house they had like an N sixty four, and I, like I was forced to play N sixty four for so many hours every day. Um, and uh, I remember Pokemon on the the Game Boy Color uh, when that came out. I think that was a little bit later, but the Game Boy Color um, Pokemon is a game that really influenced me and really got me into gaming. So, and then the PlayStation One. I had like all the original, like the early consoles when I was growing up. So, anyways, how do you afford the six thousand games in your profile? That's a hard one to answer. It's probably gonna take a while. But um, Thomas left a very good response. The main way is through bundles and through third-party websites. Um, you can basically just read his response. Thomas answered it pretty well. Um, I guess I would just go through a couple more things. So there's Humble Bundle, Bundle Stars, Indie Gala. There's other sites like Otaku, um, GoGo Bundle. There's a lot of other bundle sites. Uh, one way to get a lot of games for very cheap is to join a Steam group called Group Buys. Um, if you join that Steam group, you can enter these... Um, I don't know what you would call them, like mass purchases where they purchase like 50 bundles and they get them for cheaper and then you can um, get one bundle from someone for a very low price. So for example, Indie Gala, normally the bundles are like $3.50 for 12 games. You can get them for $1 for 12 games and you can do that every week or sometimes twice a week. So you can get a lot of games for very cheap doing that method. Um, I'm probably not answering it too well. Another uh, way, uh, I get a lot of games sent to me for free um, for, from publishers to showcase on my channel. I never get through all of them, but um, yeah, that's another way I get a lot of games. And then uh, honestly, just 
I always look for deals and trying to find them for find games for as cheap as possible. So I only purchase games normally on Steam on the summer sale and the winter sale. In between those six months, I always purchase from third party sites and I try to get them cheap. Um, if you look around, there is um, there's places you can go where you can get games for a lot lower than on Steam. I would say one good site if you're looking for AAA games or good games is CDKeys.com. I think that's a good one. You can get 5% off by uh, liking their Facebook page. And um, some people use G2A. I never use G2A, but that's a good site too. Uh, going forward, when did you start gaming? I already answered that. What is your favorite game? What is my favorite game? That's a hard one to answer. Um, I like a lot of different games. Um, I'm not really sure what my favorite is. I guess, I mean, I, I have favorites in like every genre. If you were gonna ask me like, what's my favorite JRPG? It's Final Fantasy X. Uh, favorite RPG is probably probably Skyrim. Fallout 4 was pretty good. Um, I love Halo. Halo's my favorite first-person shooter. Uh, Halo 5 was really fun. A lot of people will disagree with that, but I was um, very addicted to Halo 3. I loved Halo 3, Halo 2. Um, what else? RuneScape's my favorite MMO. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and that's a kind of a strange one, but I was addicted to RuneScape growing up. What got you into trading cards and Steam levels? Um, okay, so originally, when the trading card beta first released, what got me into it was making money. You can get trading cards and sell them on the market, and you get some money, and then you can reinvest that money on games, and you can get games for a little bit cheaper. So it kind of makes sense as a game collector to get trading cards so you can sell them for a little bit of profit, and then you can sell them. Um, Steam levels is a different story. I think I got into Steam levels just because I kept finding little, like, tricks and stuff to make... Um, leveling up on Steam very cheap, things like leveling up during the summer and winter sale to get the holiday cards, selling emoticons, backgrounds, gyms, um, card bots, etc, etc. Uh, I think that's what got me like to, to level up, but overall I've never really cared too much about Steam levels. Personally, it's all about buying games, and I guess I'll just explain this now. I don't use any of my personal money to buy trading cards or anything like that. Uh, what I do is I collect a bunch of games that I get from bundles and other sources, and over that six month period, I amass probably a thousand games. I farm all of those games for trading cards. I sell all the trading cards, and then I'll get like maybe $200 worth of credit. And then I use that credit to invest in um, cheap trading card sets, the cheapest trading card sets, and use car card bots and so forth. And then once I craft all the badges, I sell all the emoticons, backgrounds, cards, etc. And then I'll have around $200 back in credit. And then I use that money during the summer and winter sale to buy games. Um, and I usually end up saving a lot of, of that money too. So uh, yeah, I guess that answers your question. I don't really care too much about Steam levels. I don't think it really matters. Uh, honestly, I think once you get to like level 50 and you get some display cases, that's when you should stop. Um, there's really no reason to go forward unless you need more friend slots. Um, nice vids, keep it up. How long have you been growing your hair? I think I answered that. And your question, which sale has the best Steam sale? The sale with the best event discounts, badges, etc. My favorite event... Okay, he's asking me, like, which summer or winter sale is your favorite. Uh, my favorite was... I think it was, like, three... Wait, maybe... Yeah, I think it was, like, three years ago, 2014, the summer event. I think it was the summer event. It might have been the winter, but I think it was the summer event of 2014. There was this event where everyone was split up into different teams. There was like red team, blue team, purple team, green team, and I think there was a pink team. I don't really remember. But um, the way it worked is whoever crafted the most badges um, per team would win for that day. And if you won for that day, you got an additional trading card. And you also got a chance to... Um, win free games from your Steam wish list. So some people actually got like the first three games out of their wish list for free, and I thought that was super cool. I think it was only like, maybe it was like 10 or 20 people a day who got free games, but I just thought that event was so cool just because it brought everyone together and it, it made everyone interested in crafting cards. And it was really cool because there was like these, these meters, and you can see like how many, um, like how many badges or how many, like how many, uh, what am I just trying to say? Uh, like how many badges each team were crafting and it was like a competition of who could craft the most badges. I thought that was really fun. Uh, 
and the, again, I should mention some other ones. The um, like the monster clicker game that was really fun. That was like two years ago, um, and I can't really remember too many of the others, but those were my favorites. Okay, moving on. How much money did it take to get to level three twenty? Uh, Spike HD said to check SteamLevels.com. Uh, Steam Levels is actually a pretty good site, so let me go to SteamLevels.com. So this is Steam Levels. Um, if you enter in your desired Steam Level, or if you sign in, um, so say you're level zero and you want to get to level 320. Um, let's see if I'll calculate. Oh wait, your current Steam Level you enter here, and then your Dream Steam Level you enter here. So if you're going from zero to 320. Um, and you're using this bot, like Steam Levels is a bot. So um, they give you 15 card sets per CSGO key. It would cost you 300, wait, it would cost you a lot more than that, wouldn't it? 352? Yeah, I guess that's correct. 352 CSGO keys. Use a calculator, 352 CSGO keys is actually pretty expensive. If you bought them for like, oh, hold on, three, hold on, I'm getting all confused. 352 times 2.5 equals $880. So if you were to buy them all from like the store, like the see the uh, like the in-game kind of strike global offensive store for two dollars and fifty cents each, and you're you're going to use this bot, it would cost you eight hundred and eighty dollars. So I guess that's a good way to factor in how much it's going to cost to level up. But uh, like I said before, I really don't spend any of my own money leveling up, and you get a lot of that money back through trading cards, um, through I mean event cards from the summer winter sale and emoticons, backgrounds, gyms, etc. So yeah, I don't really keep track of how much I spend, by the way, on trading cards and stuff. Uh, what is your favorite band? Um, currently, I don't know. My music taste jumps all over the place. Uh, I'm not really like the biggest fan of music in general. I like I I said earlier that I got into power metal, but it's changed over the years. I've liked um, like it went from like power metal to techno, uh, to EDM to rock metal like i don't know there's a lot of different genres that i got into but um i guess nowadays i, I just find like different things um there's this one youtube channel called like a version that has a lot of cool like cool songs on it uh one i guess my favorite singer today uh, at this moment because it could change tomorrow but at this moment i think um Aurora, if you've ever heard of Aurora, I think she has a beautiful voice and she's like super cute. So I think she has, um, I think she's my favorite so far. Uh, you, sh you guys should look her up if you haven't seen her already, but she's like, I think she's like 20 or 21 years old and she, she's so small, but she has a very beautiful, like ethereal voice. And I think she's really cool. Um, but there's other songs. I really just don't keep track of bands and, uh, I don't know. I mean, like, more, like, popular bands, like Metallica and stuff, I really enjoy. Um, yeah, I like all sorts. Okay. Um, how did you start off game collecting, trying to build my own Steam library, but can't get the proper funds? I think this was answered already, I think. Oh, no, it wasn't. Uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, so I already kind of answered that. Um, starting off, you really need to get some way to get, like, say, like, ten dollars a week or maybe less maybe five dollars a week and then you can start getting a lot of games through bundles like i said before uh indie gala is a good place to get a lot of games for cheap if you join the um group uh wait the, the group buys steam group um yeah so bundle stars humble bundle etc just get the one dollar bundles if you are just starting out uh, i think those are good i'm wondering why blah blah have you met any big youtubers no, um, I have not met any big YouTubers. Uh, I don't really talk to a whole lot of people in general, so I probably won't ever meet any big YouTubers unless I get like super popular, I guess. What's your favorite kind of music and what is your favorite song? I think I sort of answered that already. Uh, my favorite, favorite song at the moment? Um, favorite song. I'm just going to go ahead and go to YouTube and, and like search just to show you guys. Um, I think my favorite song at the moment, again, is by Aurora, so like a... Hold on a second, I forgot what the song name was. Um, this wasn't original, this was just a cover, but Teardrop, 
uh, Massive Attack's Teardrop covered by Aurora. You guys should check out this video. Um, she has the most amazing voice, and I think this girl is going to be super freaking famous in the next like 10 years or so. If she keeps creating her own music, and if she like travels over to the US, I think she's going to be like a superstar. But uh, yeah, you guys should check out this video if you're interested in like a very... Uh, a very uh interest like a very sweet and just like pure voice i should say anyways going forward uh i also like a whole lot of game music just music without lyrics and stuff i'm not really into like popular music uh where did the name desolator iv come from that's a good question actually um so my name okay so my name started when i was a kid uh, when I first got the original Xbox, I needed to make a username for Xbox Live. So um, I came up with Desolator because I was a big fan of the Red Alert series, Red Alert 2. There was a uh, there was a unit type called a Desolator who would like spit acid and just like dissolve people. And I thought he was pretty badass. So I thought that was a cool name that wasn't taken. You also had to find a name that wasn't taken. Keep that in mind. Um, so Desolator was taken uh, just this part. So, um, I wanted to come up with like something else to put after it. I didn't want to put a number cause I thought, I always think putting numbers after your name is really stupid. So I just came up with IV, which is just the Roman numerals for four. And I just thought it sounded cool. Um, instead of saying Desolator four, just say Desolator IV. I think that sounds nice. And a lot of people, uh, on Xbox live called me Des. I just thought that was a cool like nickname. Um, so yeah, I've just had that over the years. Some people say that I spelled it wrong. Um, there's actually two ways to spell Desolator. There's Desolator and then there's Desolator with an O-R at the end. Um, from what I've seen of various dictionaries, I think both spellings are correct. There might be like a different pronunciation. I think some people say Desolator, some people say... I forgot the other way. There's another way to say it, but I just say Desolator. Anyways, <laughs> just moving forward, that's where my name came from. Uh, Red Alert 2. I should have just said that. Uh, question, hope this gets in the video. Do you love HCZ Gaming Clan? Uh, yeah. Are you gay? <laughs> I think this was the most upvoted uh, comment. And I've actually had this comment, I mean, this question asked me quite a few times in the past. Are you gay? <laughs> no, I'm not gay at all. I think some people think if you have long hair, you're more likely to be gay, which is kind of strange because I don't think most gay people have long hair, do they? Um, Maybe I should just search gay people on Google Images. Um, but no, I'm not gay. Um, yeah, I'm not like really interested in dating though. Like, I don't know if that makes me gay. <laughs> I would say if anything, it would make me more like asexual just because I don't really care too much about it at the moment. But um, as far as attraction goes, I'm definitely interested in females. And uh, yeah, that's what I watch. <laughs> What's your mother's maiden name? Um... What's your name of your first pet? I'm not answering those. What is your favorite anime? My favorite anime is... Okay, I'm just making sure that's like a real question because some people already know. Uh, my favorite anime um, is Dragon Ball Z. I've always loved Dragon Ball Z. I think it was like the first anime I really watched as well as a kid growing up. I thought it was so badass just seeing people fight. And it ties in to what I was saying earlier, like my favorite um, sport, UFC. I liked wrestling. I just love combat, um, like hand-to-hand -hand combat. And uh, Dragon Ball Z, I love Goku. I think Goku is uh, he's such a funny character and he's so like... I don't know, he has like no care in the world, and same with uh, like my avatar picture on YouTube, it's uh, Titus from Final Fantasy X. Uh, those two characters, Goku and Titus, they have like this attitude that like nothing in the world matters, it's just like, just have fun and do what you want, like you only live once. I think that's a really cool attitude to have, and it's one of the reasons why I like um, those two characters. But uh, my favorite anime is uh, Dragon Ball Z, I like Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball GT wasn't as good. Dragon Ball Super is really good. Um, the dub has just came out, and there's like 20 episodes so far. I've been watching those. Those are really good. Um, as far as other anime, I just wanted to cover other anime real quick. Just to give you guys like an example. I like uh, Attack on Titan, One Punch Man. I really love this uh, very short anime called Noin. Um, it's highly unknown, but it's like a sci-fi about um, entering multiple dimensions, and it's really, really neat. I highly encourage everyone to go watch that. Everyone I tell to watch Noin, they never watch it. I, I wish just someone would go out there and watch it, because it's a really good one. Um, 
And I guess that's all I can think of so far. Um, I guess those are my favorites. I'm probably missing some, um, but those are like my top ones, I guess. Have you played the Gothic games? No, I haven't played the Gothic games. I'm not really sure what they're about. I'll have to go look them up and see. Um, I think they're an older game, right? I'm pretty sure they're like super old, if I remember correctly. Have you played Kingdom Hearts? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? <laughs> so this is from the Mighty Gazelle. Um, I've kind of answered this already. I told them I have played Kingdom Hearts 1 when I was younger, but I don't know. I, I have problems with it, and a lot of people are going to, I guess, disagree with me about this. But I guess I'll just paint you the picture. I played Final Fantasy X before I played Kingdom Hearts 1, and Final Fantasy X to me was an amazing experience. Kingdom Hearts 1 was also... Okay, so Final Fantasy X was made by Square Enix. Kingdom Hearts 1 was made by Square Enix and Disney. Um, to me, like, seeing Disney characters and a Disney world with Final Fantasy characters mixed in just felt so weird and just disturbing to me after playing Final Fantasy X. That's the main reason I never got into Kingdom Hearts. I think it's just so odd that there's Final Fantasy mixed with Disney characters like Goofy and Donald and so forth. And I've never really been a big fan of Disney characters. I know that may sound strange. Like, I love animation and I love cartoons, but I just never really cared for, like, old Disney um, cartoons. They're good, but they're just not, like, my favorites. They weren't my favorites growing up. I liked more things like... Um, Cartoon Network, like uh, Tom and Jerry, and just all the Cartoon Network stuff. But um, I guess, I don't know. Is that, I guess that answered it. I just don't care too much about RPGs with Disney characters, I guess. Uh, I do want to play like Kingdom Hearts 2. I told him that if I can get my hands on a PS4, which my friend might let me borrow, and Kingdom Hearts uh, 1.5 and 2.5 HD, I will play Kingdom Hearts 2, and I'll feature it on this channel. And uh, in return, the Mighty Gazelle said he was going to play Final Fantasy X. So you might see some Kingdom Hearts on this channel in the future. But uh, I just never got into it. And he said that Kingdom Hearts 1 was the worst Kingdom Hearts game. And maybe that's why I didn't care for it. Because I really did force myself to play the first Kingdom Hearts because there was a lot of hype around it, especially at my school at the time. I just could not get into it. I didn't, I didn't understand why people liked it so much. Um, I just thought it was so strange seeing Donald Duck and Goofy and Mickey Mouse in a freaking RPG. Just weird. But I guess that's my response to that. How old are you? I'm in my early 20s. Um, what's that poster above the Modern Warfare 3 poster? Oh, that is a picture of Riku. Oh, I can just search it just so I don't have to get up and get it. <clears throat> so that's this picture right here. I actually took this image. And then I brought it to my local UPS store and they will print out um, like small posters for you for $2. So there's like little posters above the big posters in the back of my room. Uh, those were all just like $2 each, very cheap. Um, and they're like glossy and they look really nice. So uh, yeah, that's just this picture. I thought it looked pretty sexy. <laughs> so anyways, moving forward. What genre of music do you like? I think I answered that. Well, I don't know if I answered that clearly. Um, so I would say I don't like rap, I don't like country, I like electronic, EDM, like just gaming music in general, epic music, uh, to do, I mean I like a lot of different styles, like rock, metal, I don't know, I like all sorts. I just don't like rap and country for the most part, I like most of everything else. Um, what is the first indie home you, what? What is the first indie home you played, and which game got you into indie games? I think you meant, what is what is the first indie game you played, and which game got you into indie games? I guess, it, if there was an indie game that got me into indie games, it was probably Minecraft. Because I played Minecraft back in the uh, early beta, like right when the beta released, that's when I played it. And I played a little bit of the alpha, so that was a long time ago, like super long time ago. <laughs> played it with friends, I thought it was really fun. Before Minecraft got popular, I was playing Minecraft. <laughs> How much money do you earn from YouTube? I don't earn much. Uh, from my YouTube statistics, currently I'm earning about $80 a month. And it shows that I have like 160,000 views. Um, so if you do the math on that, I don't make too much. I make like 60, 70 cents maybe per thousand views, which isn't much. Um, sometimes less. Uh, the whole, um, 
the ad companies kind of like dropped out of YouTube and my ad revenue went down. I used to make like $100 a month, which I thought was awesome, but now I'm making less than that. Uh, not not too much, but it's enough. I, I do it like, I think, I don't really need to make money off YouTube, okay? I don't really care too much about the money, but being able to make enough money to buy a AAA game every month is really cool because usually I don't have the money to buy big in games. And uh, just a little extra money to cover like side costs, or, like when my computer breaks down or just new equipment. I think that's nice. Um, so yeah, not much. That's what I say. If, if you're looking to get into YouTube as a job, don't do it. Um, if you get to my point where you get like 5,000 plus subscribers, you're going to be making maybe $100, probably less every month. And uh, yeah, it's just not really a career choice, but it's a nice bit of uh, extra cash. And maybe if you grow larger, like who knows, maybe in like 10 years from now, I'll have 100,000 subscribers and I'll be making some big money. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think was the best Humble Bundle? What do you think is the best Humble Bundle? Um, I don't know. Um, I would say the best Humble Bundles, in my opinion, scrolling down are, um, let's see here, are the Humble Monthlies. Wait, where is, did I go through, oh yeah, there. So here's the Humble Monthlies that have come out um, in the past. Uh, I think these include the best games. They're expensive though, it's $12 per bundle, 11 to $12. Um, so these aren't really like the cheapest bundles, but I think these have given me the most value. I think my favorite one was the one with, uh, where is it, with Grim Dawn. I really enjoyed playing Grim Dawn. Um, and then there was another one with Ark Survival Evolved. That was a really good one because before that, Ark was like a $30 game and then it went on a Humble Bundle and it kind of reduced the price to $2, which I thought was awesome. I think it was older there. It was the April, no wait, no, it's the March 2016. You got Ark Survival Evolved, uh, which was kind of cool, and Wasteland, um, a bunch of other games. There's just a lot of cool games in the Humble Monthlies. Um, as far as normal Humble Bundles, I can't really remember all of them. Like, it's really hard to remember like the old ones. Uh, but I've gotten like almost all of them, so I'm sure there's some good ones thrown in. Uh, Black Mesa was a fantastic game as well. So I guess that sort of answers your question. I just don't remember the Humble Bundles too clearly. I just buy them and normally I don't even play the games. So I guess moving forward from that, what is your job? I don't have a job. I don't work. I don't have that much money. Uh, were, you a good st were you a good student in high school? Uh, yeah, I was. I had straight A's for the most part. Um, I graduated in the top 15% of my um, high school, which was over 400, I think it was like 450 kids. So uh, yeah, pretty good to get in the top 15%. Um, I, just to add on to that, I kind of like played the system a little bit. Um, I was very lazy. I never did like homework or anything at home. I'd always do everything at school. And uh, by my like senior year, I would I was taking like super easy classes just to get a very high grade to uh, raise my GPA. Um, other people like the smart kids, they were taking these super hard classes that was like so much workload and uh, their grades would suffer because of it because it was just so difficult and they had like such mean teachers. Instead of taking those classes, I would take the easy classes and I would get like a 100% average and uh, like, I don't know. So I did really good in school. Um, I loved math. Math was fun. Uh, but uh, honestly, I hated high school. I just hated being around people. And uh, it was so boring. Like, most of the time, you're just sitting there, like, bored to death. But I always did really good on tests and stuff, even if I was just sitting there, like, bored to death. Um, I thought I thought school was pretty easy for the most part. Um, do you have any pets? Yes. Um, well, no. Well, sort of. There's a family pet. We have a little chihuahua. Uh, that little fat one sleeps all the time. Do you live alone? No. How do you get so many games? As I'm trying to get my library as big as possible. And why are your videos so good? So I think I answered this a little bit earlier on how you get so many games. Mostly bundles, third-party sites. Don't buy games through Steam. They're a little bit too expensive. Um, why are your videos so good? My videos are not good. I think they're terrible. I'm so lazy in most of my videos. I don't do any editing at all. Um, and it's just because I do it for fun. Uh, like I said, um, I don't really do it for views or for the YouTube money. I just enjoy, like, I think making YouTube videos while you're, um, like, doing a, like, a let's play of a game, it encourage you, encourages you to play more and to get through the entire game. I think that's one of the reasons why I make videos. It's just because it encourages me to play through the games. Even if people don't care about my videos, I don't really care. Um, what do you think about the upcoming Fallout New Vegas mod, The Frontier? I never played much of Fallout New Vegas. 
Um, I played a little bit of it on the Xbox 360, but then on PC, I can never get it to work on Windows 7. And I can never get it to work on Windows 10 either. I should try. But um, yeah, for some reason, I've never been able to get Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas to work on any of my computers, which is just, I don't know, it's frustrating. <laughs> what is the point of having a high level on Steam? There's no point. Mostly, like, the biggest point that most people have is it brings in, like, a reputation, I guess. So if you have a high level, um, it makes you look, I guess, wealthy and, like, a little bit prestigious, I guess. But honestly, having a high Steam level means nothing. It's just cosmetic. There's no real point for it. Um, would you play with fans? Yeah, I would play with fans, but I'd say the biggest problem is I, um, I jump around games all the time. So if I ever got really into a game like an MMO or something, I would be more than happy to play with friends. Or if there was just a game that came out that a lot of people played, if I was playing like a survival game, I would love to play with fans. I used to play Rust a lot. That would have been really cool to play with people, but, um, not anymore. Like I just like jumping around different experiences. So normally I play solo games, single player games. So I don't really play with fans too often or friends. I don't play co-op games all that often. So to answer your question, um, would you play with fans? Yes, but for the most part, I don't. Um, how do you put out so much content? Uh, I, like I said, I don't do any editing, so I'm really lazy. And uh, basically making videos is really easy. I could put a lot more content if I really put the effort into it. I could probably put out like 10 videos a day if I really... Uh, if I really took YouTube like a job and like tried to pump out more content, I could put a lot more, but... Uh, um, yeah, that's the reason I don't do editing. How much water do you drink a day? Quite a bit. Um, I used to drink a lot more. It depends if I, uh, depends, I don't know. It depends on if I like am trying to lose weight or not. Like if I'm trying to lose weight, I go on the treadmill and I try to run like a, or walk or run like a mile a day. Um, and then I drink a lot more water, but I usually drink probably, I try to drink like a gallon or so. I think that's a good amount. Um, if you ever see these orange bottles, these are just water. Um, and I try to just keep those filled and drink as much water as possible. Um, one more interesting note. Um, for like five years, I didn't drink any water. I just drank Mountain Dew Voltage and normal Mountain Dew. So yeah, uh, somehow I survived off that drinking nothing but Mountain Dew and I guess a little bit of lemonade. Um, Mountain Dew and lemonade. <laughs> Uh, that was bad. It was probably terrible for my health. My teeth suffered from it, but, um, yeah, I dropped Mountain Dew. What was it? I think it was early last year. It was early. It was, yeah, it was either early this year or early last year. I dropped Mountain Dew and started drinking water. I think it was last year. Um, it might've been this year though. I can't really remember. What is your favorite place to get games from? Steam bundle, Steam, Humble Bundle, etc. And not a bucket and you're not boring. Sorry, I'm like stumbling just because I've been reading so much. Um, okay, so thanks for not thinking I'm boring. Uh, my favorite place to get Steam games from, I would say the Humble Monthly is my favorite um, bundle just because you get a lot of good games and it's a surprise. I think it's cool to have just a surprise each month that you can uh, check out. Um, but it's expensive. It's like $12. My other favorite place, I guess, to get games is Indie Gala, just because if I use the, like I said, the group Steam or group buys, the Steam group group buys, you can get every bundle for like a dollar, the full bundle. So you can get like 12 games for a dollar every week. I don't play them. They're terrible games mostly, but uh, <laughs> uh, it's good for trading cards and stuff. Um, so yeah, I would say like the best place if you're looking for good games is Humble Bundle. Other places, Bundle Stars, Indie Gala, those are my favorite. And I don't get games on Steam very often, unless there's a really good deal, and during the summer and winter sale. But uh, good games you can get on. Oh yeah, also CD Keys for uh, AAA games. Uh, go to CD Keys, go to their Facebook page, get the 5% coupon, and then check out some of their new releases. There's some good discounts. Um, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I don't know. <laughs> that's, a, that's a question I just don't really care about. Like evolution in general, it's just a topic that... I don't know, it's just something I just don't really bother to, like, care too much. It's not really something that matters <laughs> to me. Um, we're all going to die anyway, so whatever. 
Um, how do you grow such beautiful hair? <laughs> do you play CSGO? Uh, you just you just let it grow. You don't do anything to it. And then you have like very thick, I don't know, my hair is very messy and just very thick and you can do whatever you want with it. <laughs> um, do you play CSGO? I do not play CSGO. Um, a lot of people ask me that. Why don't you play CSGO? I just never cared for it. I don't like, um, I guess I just don't like tactical first person shooters. I like shooters like Call of Duty, Halo. Um, just, I, mean, I enjoy Battlefield to a degree. Um, but CSGO, you just die like in an instant and it's just about aiming, like who, ha who has the best aim pretty much. And uh, I don't know, there's not a whole lot of strategy. I don't know if I should say that. There's a lot of like, tactics like team strategy but there's not a whole lot of like i don't know what i'm trying to say there's not like like in call of duty you have perks you have kill streaks you have different weapons that you can choose and different attachments and all of this like combines to form like a cool little strategy and then that can give you like an edge over your opponent and kind of strike everyone is exactly the same for the most part I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but CSGO just has never been fun for me. I don't know why. I just never really got into it. Um, don't care about the skins. Don't care about any of it. Uh, gun game is fun, though. I think gun game is a cool game mode in CSGO. What's your setup specs? I use three monitors. My main monitor is a 1440p 144Hz monitor. Uh, my PC has a GTX 1080. Um, EVGA, I think it's an ACX 3.0. Uh, my microphone is a Samson Meteor mic. Got it a long time ago. Uh, it was pretty good though. I, I paid like, I think I paid $40 for it, maybe 50. I think I paid like 40, I had a gift card. And uh, I have a little foam filter on the top of it, which is nice. I don't know if you guys see it, but it like wraps around the microphone, which is kind of cool, a pop filter. And then I have like a little stand, which was like $15 on Amazon. Um, to do, uh, my PC, I forgot to mention the other stuff. I have a 4690K overclocked at four gigahertz. Um, that's pretty much all you really need to know about my PC. Um, not really too special. Uh, my webcam is a Logitech C930E. It's a pretty good webcam, although I do have issues with it. I don't know if you guys have seen, like, in my previous videos, sometimes there's, like, lighting issues, and sometimes it makes me, like, super white. Sometimes it makes me, like, super yellow. I have to, like, adjust it. I don't know. It, it's uh, it's a good webcam. It's fairly cheap. Um, that's it. I guess that's everything. So I, yeah. And uh, if you guys are wondering, I encourage everyone to have at least two monitors. Um, if you're gaming on one monitor, you should go out right now and purchase a second monitor. They're not very expensive, especially if you're at um, 1080p. You can get a good monitor for like $100. What's your favorite game of all time? My favorite game of all time. That's a hard one. My favorite game of all time. I don't know. Um, I guess... I'm not going to say, my, I think I answered this before, like earlier um, in the video, but my favorite games growing up, I guess, Halo, Call of Duty, RuneScape, um, I played way too many hours of those. I really enjoyed Diablo 3 when it came out. Um, StarCraft 2 arcade games were really fun. I don't know, there's a lot of games, I just play way too much, it's hard to answer a, a question like that. Um, Skyrim, you know, Fallout, like, I don't know, I, I just like all sorts of games. How did you start recording, and how old are you, and where did, where did you hit all of those posters? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, how did you start recording? I started recording with just a gaming headset with a microphone. You don't need a webcam or anything. You can just record a video. Um, but honestly, if you want to start recording, you need a good microphone and, yeah, and a good webcam um, if you're wanting to use a webcam. You don't really have to use a webcam if you have good commentary, but I think it helps. Uh, early 20s is my age, and where did you get all the posters? Okay, so there's a lot of posters on my wall. There's a lot of posters on each one of my walls. Um, a lot, okay. So at one point, Amazon, I, I did this thing on Amazon. I guess you would sort of call it fraud, but not really. Um, 
so there was these poster companies selling posters for three cents each, okay? And they had a lot of posters. And what they were doing is they had, it was like five, it was like, it was like three to five cents per poster plus like five dollars of shipping and handling or more. So what they would do is if you ordered multiple posters, they would stack on the shipping and handling costs. And so they would charge like five dollars, five dollars, five dollars. And then so if you purchase like four posters, it would cost like over twenty dollars. Um, but what I did, like, I thought that was wrong, okay? It, it shouldn't be allowed to sell something for three cents and then just stack on the shipping and handling costs. So I came up with this idea. What if I order multiple posters? So I ordered a couple posters, and they came in the mail, and of course I was charged multiple times for shipping and handling, even though all the posters came in the same package. So I contacted c customer support, and I told them, I'm like, there's no way that shipping three posters in the same package costs like $30 or whatever. So they agreed with me and then they basically refunded me the whole shipping and handling costs. And sometimes the actual, um, the owner of the store who are selling the posters, they would give me a refund just because they agreed with me too and that it's wrong to uh, having to stack the shipping and handling fees. So after doing it once, I was just thinking, how many times can I do this? So I basically did it like 10 times and I got like over 100 posters and uh, I eventually got them to change their prices just because they were losing so many posters from me because I was getting them all for pretty much free because I was getting the shipping and handling costs um, um, refunded each time because they were way overcharging since they put all the posters in the same package. So uh, yeah, that was a long story, but that's how I got all the posters, basically for free. And I have a lot more posters. Uh, what level are you gonna get? Um, I don't know. I don't really, I don't really like think about it. Uh, I think in the winter sale I'll probably get three fifty. How much money have you spent on Steam? So I have. Let me check real quick. I have six thousand three hundred eighty-four games. I would have to assume over the last probably like seven years, maybe eight years. Um, I think. I think I've spent less than $2,000, which if you think about it, really isn't that much money if you think like year by year basis. So like $200 a year or a little bit more than that. Um, but I might've spent like less than that. I'm trying to think, like really think about it. I am pretty sure I've spent less than $2,000, but it's probably around the $2,000 mark um, on games like for Steam. Uh, would we get a room tour? So I did make a room tour last year and not a whole lot has changed since then, or at least I don't think a whole lot has changed, but I should probably make a new one. Um, so maybe in the next week or two, I'll make another room tour tour and you guys can see, um, what has changed. Uh, not a whole lot, but, um, I guess some things have changed. Um, so yeah, is humble bundle monthly. Oh wait. Is Humble, Bund is Humble Bundle monthly, maybe yearly, better value than the Steam store? Do you restrain yourself from getting a summer deal if you think it'll be in a future Humble Bundle? Uh, yes, the Humble Monthlies are definitely a better value than the Steam store. Hands down, you are never going to be getting a better price on Steam for the Humble Monthlies, for the games that are included. Uh, do you restrain yourself from getting a summer deal if you think it will be in a future Humble Bundle? Sometimes. Um... There is some games that I really want that, I mean, not that I really want them, but there's games that are like $5 that when I look at them, I'm just thinking like this might be in a Humble Monthly in the future. So sometimes that kind of makes me think like maybe I shouldn't get this at this point. So games like, okay, so like Ori and the Blind Forest, it's a very popular um, indie game and it's $10 right now on Steam and it's been $10 for a long time. I think that's a game that could end up in a Humble Monthly in the near future. Um, other games like The Darkest Dungeon, that's another super popular game that's $10. Tabletop Simulator, um, Enter the Gungeon, I really think that's gonna be in a Humble Monthly in the future. Um, Hyperlight Drifter, that's probably a, a humble, that's a monthly game probably. Um, so yeah, just games like that. There's some games that I just think in like, yeah, this will probably be in a humble monthly. I'll just pass on it for now, especially games I don't really have too much of an interest in. Uh, so yeah, that answers your question. How much have you spent? I answered that previously. I would say, <clears throat> I would say under 2000 over the last eight years. Do you have a boyfriend? <laughs> I have many. What was your first Steam game? What was your first gaming console? What is your favorite movie? 
My first Steam game was Gary's Mod. Uh, what was your first gaming console? My first gaming console. It's hard to remember. I think like my very first was probably the Super Nintendo. It was passed down from my parents, but I didn't play it much. Um, I remember like very clearly my first ones were the Game Boy Color N64. And then after that, just a little bit after I got a PlayStation one. So those were my first like few consoles and I loved all of them. What is your cheapest game that you own? What is your cheapest game? What you own? It says what you own. <laughs> my cheapest game. Well, I've had a lot of games for free. So, I mean, I guess those count as my cheapest. I don't really understand the question. A lot of the games that I have on Steam, I purchase for less than 25 cents, many for less than 10 cents, many for free. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot. How long is your hair? I guess I answered that. It goes down like it's, it's probably like, I don't know. I'm not really good with measurements, but I would say like, that's probably a foot. So probably like two and a half feet, maybe, maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. Can we get a setup video? Okay. So yeah, I'll do a setup video in the future, um, near future, probably the next two weeks, maybe, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> How can you afford to be level 310 in 6k games? Um, like I said, just you have to get games on third-party sites. You have to look for the cheapest deals possible. And eventually you can get games for little to no cost at all. Especially if you include trading cards. Because a lot of those games have trading cards. And you can sell those trading cards and get a little bit of money back. Have you ever been into CSGO? Nope. And what do you think about CSGO skins and their prices? I think CSGO skins is so stupid. Gamers in general, they hate microtransactions, right? So pretty much every other game... If a game has microtransactions, they're just like, nope, this game sucks, the company sucks, microtransactions are the worst. But when it comes to CSGO, people are like, yeah, skins, I'm going to buy all these keys, I'm going to trade them in for skins, and we're going to gamble, and we're going to have so much money. I think it's the dumbest thing ever. So, uh, yeah, in my opinion, CSGO skins are ridiculously overpriced and pretty silly. <laughs> The only reason why they have value currently is just because the game is so popular. Um, if there was like a another Counter-Strike game that's coming out, um, all the skins would drop in price and people would be so furious. <laughs> but honestly, I think buying skins in general, buying microtransactions is really dumb. I don't think I've ever bought microtransactions. Like, I don't know. I've always been against it. So I don't really buy anything in free-to-play games and stuff like that. Um... And I'm in my early 20s, if you didn't catch that before. Um, hopefully I don't offend all the CSGO players, because I know a lot of people who play CSGO watch my videos. But I'm just saying I'm not a big fan of CSGO, and I don't like the microtransaction system. Yeah, But you can get skins for super cheap. Like, there's like 5 cent skins if you want cheap ones on the market. So I guess it's not a big deal. It really depends. But I just think it's so crazy that some people spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on skins. I think that's just crazy to me. Why do you prefer to have long hair as opposed to short? Uh, I think I answered this at the beginning. Basically, I just think I look really, really bad with short hair. I have very uh, curly, shaggy hair when it's short. Um, that just doesn't look great. Think of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. <laughs> uh, when are you going to cut your hair? Probably never. As long as I can get away with it, I guess. If I, like, if I ever got offered a good job and they're just like you should cut your hair then I probably would or if someone ever offered to pay me to cut my hair then I'd probably do that too um one of those two will probably get me to cut my hair but if not I probably won't ever do it if I ever join the military I probably have to <laughs> what is your first game that you got into gaming that got you into gaming Pokemon Red version what is your favorite game of all time I think I answered this earlier I don't really have favorites. I have like favorite games in each genre. Final Fantasy X is my favorite JRPG. Skyrim is my favorite RPG. Um, Fallout 4 was really fun. Uh, Halo is my favorite shooter. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 is my favorite Call of Duty game. I don't know. I just have favorites in different genres. Uh, what is your favorite music? And will you do a top five or ten of your favorite songs? I will not do a top five or 10 of my favorite songs. I'm not really into music. Like I said in previous questions, I don't care a whole lot about music, which is strange. I know that seems super odd, but I've just never been a big fan. Like I'm not really obsessed with it like other people are. Um, but my favorite types of music, I guess, are like electronic, EDM, um, 
and then just like some metal rock uh just power metal like just random stuff you know i just don't like uh country and rap those are the only two things that i just don't really care for do you have a favorite steam profile and if you do who is it by do i have a favorite steam profile no i don't think i have a favorite but i have seen some really cool ones uh, some people put a lot of work into like the little animated artwork showcase and they make some really cool designs but um yeah i've never really cared too much about the steam profiles so i don't have a favorite do you like cats and when will you get one <laughs> i i like cats but i'm allergic to cats so i'll never get one and um yeah, I prefer dogs because I'm allergic to cats. That's pretty much the only reason why. Uh, which game was your first you played as a child? Pokemon Red version? Well, that wasn't my first, but that was probably my favorite. I think someone's calling me. Let me get through this first. Um, so yeah, I think I answered that. Pokemon Red version was the game that got me into gaming, I think. And into RPGs. I think, I don't know. It was a really like special experience for me. Uh, you prefer the old Steam sale with flash sales, etc., or the new boring style? Of course, I enjoy the old style more. Uh, the flash sale sales were really fun, and they had some really good discounts. I remember the flash sales sales. I don't know why I keep saying shales. The flash sales. Um, they were every eight hours. So I remember like setting my alarm clock to wake up early just so I can get access to the flash sale and then I'll go back to sleep, wake up again and get another flash sale. That was fun. I enjoyed that. And they had better deals back then, I think. How many views does this video have? I don't know. Do you have any top favorite YouTubers to watch or streamers? My f Okay, this is going to sound weird. But my favorite YouTuber is a guy named A Friend. He lives in Lithuania, and all he does is play RuneScape, okay? I don't play RuneScape anymore, but RuneScape is super nostalgic for me because I played it for hundreds, thousands of hours uh, when I was younger. I just love watching him because he plays 16 hours a day, and he does so much, like, every day. It's incredible. RuneScape is a, an incredibly grindy game. If you don't play 10 hours a day plus, you're never going to get anywhere. But there's a guy named a friend who plays 16 hours a day and he does so much and I just love, I love like listening to him. He's kind of like me. He had, I know when he started, he had a lot of social anxiety. He probably still does. And uh, I don't know. He's just, he has a really cool voice and I uh, enjoy watching him. Uh, other top favorite YouTubers? I don't know. I don't really have top favorites. I enjoyed Fun Hoss and Inside Gaming. I think that's what they were called, right? Um, for a long time. Uh, they're pretty funny, like comedians who play video games. They're like, I think they're in San Francisco. Uh, but yeah, at one point I thought it would be so cool just to like collaborate with them, um, before I got into making videos, but, uh, they're really hilarious sometimes. Um, all the people there, Adam, uh, Bruce, Elise. Um, I really miss a guy named Spool who used to be on their channel. He had this segment called $1 one hour. And if they didn't play, the game for one hour or like if they didn't it was basically a concept where you had to play a game uh depending on like depending on the price of the game is how long you should play it for so if you paid ten dollars for a game you should play it for 10 hours and if they didn't play it for 10 hours it was like a failure and the game was terrible i thought that was really cool and they also have steam roulette that's where i got the idea um i mean it's the same idea i, I basically just copied them but that was cool Cool, cool segment. But yeah, I, I guess I would say Fun Hoss and um, A Friend are probably my favorites, but I don't watch Fun Hoss too often. I don't watch people on YouTube play games, which is kind of strange. I don't really care to watch people play games, but I do it myself and you guys watch me. So I, I don't know, kind of a weird uh, mix of things there. What's the story behind your Steam profile? When did you get into PC gaming and how did you come across Steam? I don't know what he means about my Steam profile. I guess, I, I don't know if he's talking about my background. I guess I can go to my background real quick. One second. So here is my Steam profile. What's the story behind it? Um, this background is from a free-to-play game called Lost Saga. I don't remember how I came across it. I just thought it looked cool. I just wanted like a darker, um, I guess a darker background with a cute girl on the side. And I think this like demon girl it looks awesome. Angel. Demon angel. I don't know. Um, yeah, I just thought it was a little cool background. That's pretty much it, I guess. Uh, another questions. Um, this video has been going on for an hour. Holy crap. When did you get into PC gaming? How did you come across Steam? 
I can't, I got into PC gaming about, I don't say about 10 years ago, maybe, maybe a little less. No, probably about eight years, eight or nine. You can probably find on my Steam profile how old it is. Um, how did you come across Steam? My friends told me about it, I guess. <laughs> um, it's the main platform for PC games. Uh, but yeah, I used to be a console gamer. I used to really love the Xbox 360. I have like 100 games for it. Um, and before that, I played in like PS3, Xbox, GameCube. I had all the consoles before the Xbox 360. I owned all of them. I never got a PS3 though, and I never got a PS4. I have an Xbox One as well. Uh, what is your job? I don't have a job. How old are you? Answered all these questions. I'm in my early 20s. Do you have a favorite game? Um, I have a lot of favorite games. So, uh, why do you exclude subscribers like me from your giveaways who are below level 20? Why do we have to take the blame for people who are abusing your system? Why is level 10 as a requirement too low? I'm subbed to you since you got under 1k subs, and now people who just subbed you get games instead of me and my friends who followed your long path until now. Oh, that's kind of a sad question to end this video on. Um, okay, so here's the main reasons. So some people have multiple accounts, and they enter my giveaways with multiple accounts. Um, Another reason is because I feel like people who are under level 10 don't really care as much about gaming in general. And I know that might sound mean, but if you're like under level 10, it basically just means that you've spent very little on the Steam store. And um, like, I don't know, <laughs> like if you're not able to pay like five or $10 to get to level 20, um, I just don't think you really care too much about getting games or like playing the games that I give you. A lot of people who are like level 10 or like below level 20, um, the only reasons why they join my giveaways is to get the games to farm for trading cards. And then they get those trading cards and they sell them on the market and they get Steam credit and they use that for other things, usually CSGO skins. Um, I'm trying to look for people who actually want to play the games, who actually care a little bit about them and actually enjoy them, uh, not just people who want to farm the cards. And I'm not saying this is you. You might be someone who is just like who has like no money at all and just loves games in general. And if that's so, I'm sorry. Um, but I think level 20 is a very low requirement. And I think um, I don't know. I think you can afford to get to level 20. Um, honestly, you can spend like probably five dollars and get like 40 sets of of cards, and you would get almost level 20 probably. But um, I don't know. I guess some people are just extremely poor and they don't have the money to do that and i'm sorry but um like i said some people abuse it and i think people that are under level 20 just uh they just don't care as much about steam i guess they just want the games for the cards to sell them or or some people actually want enter the giveaway to sell the games that i give them to other people and i think that's kind of messed up but uh yeah i'm sorry if uh if that's unfortunate for you what game have you spent the most time with? RuneScape. Thousands of hours in RuneScape. When I was younger, that literally controlled my life. Like, honestly, I felt like my RuneScape character was more important than my real life. Like, life. <laughs> I was obsessed with it. So, yeah, that's kind of a... Kind of a... I don't know. Kind of lame. <laughs> but I did play a lot of Halo 3. Thousands of hours in Halo 3. Halo 2, all the Halo series. I loved Halo. And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Spent like a, well over a thousand hours in that. Rust, uh, StarCraft 2 arcade games, Diablo 3. Just trying to think of like the games I played most. Um, Skyrim. I didn't play as much in Skyrim, but I played like well over a hundred hours. So that's it. That it concludes this video. So we hit the one hour mark. Wow. And this video is long. Oh my God. Um, Hopefully you guys found the answers that you're looking for. I know a lot of them were repeats, but thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and have a nice day.